Alright, here we are continuing on the Ocean Force Point Temple for the second time. Let's hit this switch and raise up the water now that we're at it. Let's go in here, watch out for those annoying little frog guys. We're underwater, which is really nice for you to see. And since I don't feel like dealing with this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, freeze him. Freeze, freeze, there we go. And you're dead. Yeah, woo. Alright, since I didn't feel like dealing with him, now we're going to go on to this part here. This part is extremely annoying. Remember last time we just shoot all the flames off because we could shoot all four switches at the same time? This time, we actually have to hit them from both sides because they're actually blocked off by a wall. So you can't just hit them from the side anymore. Not only that, each one represents each color. So you have to actually time this correctly. That's right, more timing added on to this. So yippee, I love that. Oh god, I didn't even switch out to my blaster yet, did I? Crap, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. Come on, hit that. And hopefully hit the flame in time, hopefully. Alright. Wait, what am I doing? Then we have to wait for this around here to float around so we can hit the yellow switch. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Alright. So far, so good. Let's figure this in one shot. That'll be nice. I don't think I probably can, but I'm making good time. That's all I'm caring about is good time. Let's try this. Come on. Come on. Get to the other side here. Next one we're going to be shooting for is green. Wait for it to the other side and let's just hit it here. I think it's going to float around and all right. That means the last one is going to be the red, which is hard, easily the hardest one to do because, well, you have to actually wait. Oh, man, I messed up. Okay, well, what you want to do is actually when he gets to that side, it's hit it, but you have to wait for him to actually go all the way back up. So let's wait for him to spin around again. Let's just wait for it. And once he gets over there and stops, shoot it. And then it's going to go back around. It's going to blow himself into the little side there. There we go. And then we have another little block puzzle thing. Except this time we just blast it, so it's extremely easy. This one, pretty much all you do. Don't shoot it to the side. Shoot it there. Okay. Get away from me, Tricky. You're in the way. You're in my way. You're breaking up my mood. Okay, so shoot it there. Why do you keep on blocking me, Tricky? Seriously. I should, I'm sure I just want to tell you to stay right now, but... Eh, whatever. So you shoot him over there. It's not even that much difficult for the other one, but... I mean, hey, whatever. Shoot it there. Shoot it there. there and then finally go over to the last side and bam there we go and now once again we unlock the blaster over on this side now so now we can go up there and place the last spell stone so let's go ahead and do that let me just switch out to my uh actually no i have to actually and eh, i'll just use this for now stick in there and i'll just go ahead and switch to my blaster when i get back up there I think that was completely pointless to change my, you know, hold item up there, but I did it anyway, so take that. I should probably restore my magic, but I don't really need to. Uh, actually, I kind of need some health, so I'll take some health here. Why not, you know? I have like a one-fourth of a health I was missing, but that's all beside the point. Anyway, don't go across there. This time, it's over here, so let's hit it. Whoops. There we go. What? All right. And he'll knock it over to their side, and let's continue on. Press A. How is Tricky always one step ahead of us? I always wonder that. Where, where does he? Where does he come from? I don't know. He's just. He's just awesome like that. Why does he say wait for me? Seriously, I mean, he was there before me. I don't understand that at all. Anyway, here we go. We're going to place the last spell stone of the game. Let's watch this. No more magic flowing anymore. So you know what that means. Yeah! We 
We did it, Fox! Guys, guys, are you seeing this? Mission complete! What's going on? We've placed all the spellstones. There must be more to it, Fox! Since you left Walled City, I've been studying your mission. And I've noticed there's something hidden at the top of that huge temple. It looks like a Krasoa Shrine entrance. Oh yeah, I could have told you that. Oh, come on. Let's get back to the hollow. Alright, because I don't want you guys to see me, you know, completely watching me Oh, I'm stupid slippy. I know where to head next. Okay, because I don't want you guys to see me where I'm gonna go, like, all the way back there again, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. So, meet you back at the next cutscene. Alright, now, as you head over to this way, we'll end up another cutscene here. Fox, something is not right. The walled city has not yet returned to the planet. My husband is still stuck up there. You did return all of the spell stones. Of course, but wait. The spirits, they must have something to do with it. You're right. We've Without already all known. The, spirits, the magic cannot be channeled back into the planet. Your boss said to return to the wild city. There must be a shrine we've yet to find. We already know that. We were already told that there was a Krizoa spirit at the top of that. You even agree. That was the most pointless cutscene I've ever seen. Well, you know, aside from the ones you had to pick up two items. Anyway. Uh, yeah, here we're gonna go back up here and return to orbit and go over back to the walled city. And we're gonna see our mission status from this point on and see what they have to say about it. So let's get in and go up to the ship once again. Which I'm gonna cut out because, you know, I mean, you gotta have to see us blasting meteorites again. Because that's pretty much all you ever do in those little things that collect gold rings. It's like a Sonic game except in space. Walled city. Hurry, Fox! There must be another Krasoa shrine hidden within the walled city. When you land, go directly to the King Earthwalker. He should be able to tell you where to start looking. Peppy out! Alright, well, I'm just gonna cut this part out again. Alright, here we are, back in the walled city yet again. We thought we were done with this place, but I guess not. And hey! Looks like the king took up his rightly place and is finally out of that, you know, chamber for once. Let's see what he has to say. Fox, on behalf of Dinosaur Planet, I thank you for returning the Spellstones to their rightful place. <laughs> for what good it did? If you didn't notice, you're still stuck up here in this floating rock. By removing the Spellstones, Scales caused our planet to tear apart. Returning the stones has stopped the flow of magic energy. But only by the power of the Krizoa spirits will the floating lands return. Seems like we both have our reasons for finding the last of the spirits. The Queen said I could find one here in the city. So where is it? The spirit will be revealed once both the Sun and Moonstones are returned to the temple. Sun and Moonstones? Does that mean that means you could evolve Tricky? Sweet, what, what, what can we evolve him into? I wonder. Anyway, let's see what we got here. All right. Well, the sun and the moon are pretty much like polar opposites, kind of like the Cloud Runners and the Earth Walkers. Makes you kind of wonder where the Roadrunner takes place. Possibly like a evil hybrid from the Romeo and Juliet type thing. Anyway, that lame joke aside, I would say the sun one's probably the harder one of the two, so I'll tackle that first. But I'll tackle both of these next time, so I will see you guys then. Sorry for this short episode.